Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss quadratic functions. Hopefully by the end of this video you will understand this topic with full clarity. So let's begin. So what are quadratic functions? They are equations in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. They are usually written as ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 and y is taken as equal to 0. Hence, when we find the x, we get x-intercept. This is the point where the curve intersects the x-axis. Let me just draw it here for more clarity. Like this. These two points are the points we usually find. This is where the y is equal to 0. And the condition for this is that the coefficient of x square, which is basically a, should not be equal to 0. The shape of the curves we will draw will be a u-shaped parabola with symmetry, just like the above one I drew. You can imagine this as when you throw a ball, for example, like this, or when a cannon shoots, for example, like this, something like this. Alright, let's check out the parabolic graphs. So first we are going to check the graph of y is equal to x square. And as you can see here, it's a u-shaped parabola with symmetry. So let's check when the coefficient is minus 1. As you can see here, it inverts itself. Now let's check some more parabolic graphs. As you can see here, the y-intercept has moved 1 up. This is because when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. The same thing with minus. Alright, let's check some more complex parabolic graphs. As you can see here, this is one of them. And this is the other one. Alright, so let's check out how to find the coordinates of these graphs. So let's take the equation y is equal to x square and input the x values from minus 3 to 5. As you can see, I drew a table over here with all the values. When you put these x values into the equation, you will get these y values f of x is equal to y. So this is the graph we will get just like the before one. Uh, this will take a lot of your time, so let me show you an easier method to find the coordinates. Let's find them through the calculator. So first of all, go to your calculator, press mod, mode, then go to table, press 7, then enter your equation. Remember f of x is equal to y. Now they will ask you for start. This is the starting value of x. And this is the ending value of x. Then they will ask for step. And this is the difference between the values. For example, 1, 2, 3. And now this is how the table should look like. Alright, now let's move on to solving the quadratic equations. So there are four methods by which you can solve. The first is factorization, the second is quadratic formula, the third is completing the square, and the fourth is the best method out there which is using the calculator. They might ask you for working, so only use this method to confirm your answers. Alright, so let's begin with solving by factorization. So this is the least preferable method. I don't like this method, but anyways, let's move on. We are taking the equation y is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. From the previous graph we also drew before. Anyways, so the first step of this is that we multiply the coefficients of C and A. So now let me just take my pen. So now as you can see here, this is minus 2 for C and this is 1 for A. So what we are going to do is make it like this, minus 2. And now we find the numbers which will add up to minus 1. 
add up to basically the coefficient of b so in this case as you can see when i take minus 2 plus 1 what i get is minus 1 and when you also multiply these numbers minus 2 into minus 1 you get minus 2 so these two will be the numbers you will be using so anyways now as you can see here I have added the numbers into the equation like this and then I have factorized them and then when you keep both of them equal to zero you will get these x answers so let's move on to quadratic formula as you already know this formula will be will be given to you in the formula sheet so no need to memorize this so let's take the same equation again y is equal to x square minus x minus 2 now you can check the coefficients of each of these a b and c so a has the coefficient 1 and b has the coefficient minus 1 and c has the coefficient minus 2 now all you need to do is put them into the calculator and you will get your answers now let's move on so now we are checking the method completing the square this is also not a preferable method but anyways let's do this let's take the same equation y is equal to x square minus x minus 2 what you do is divide the coefficient of b by 2 in this case it is minus 1 so minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to minus 1 over 2 and now what you do is square the answer you got like this as I have shown once with plus and once with minus uh, what I mean by once with plus is that the plus will go outside over here and the minus will go outside over here but the coefficient will remain the same as you can see the minus goes with it so now you only change the form what I have done is open the brackets minus 1 over 2 square and then multiplied that with minus so what I got was minus 1 over 4 and minus 2 then I added them together and got minus 2.25 now let's move on to the best method there is which is solving by calculator so firstly press mode on your calculator then press 5 go to equation then select 3 as we are solving quadratic equation it is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 then enter the coefficients of the equation you are solving and then as you can see it will give you the answers both of the x's alright so let's move on to solving complex quadratic equations so let's take an equation 4x to the power of 4 minus 37x squared plus 9 equal to 0 so now what we are going to do is substitute x squared equal to y so the equation becomes 4y square minus 37y plus 9 equal to 0 and as you can see it is a quadratic equation so now you can what you can do is put that into the calculator as I have shown you before and you will get the answers y equal to 9 and y equal to 1 over 4 then what you can do is put the substitution back x square equal to y and as you can see x square equal to 9 x square equal to 1 over 4 and then what you can do is take the square root on both sides you will get don't forget to take the square root with both plus and minus this is the main thing all right now let's move on to solving simultaneous equations let's take two equations equation number one is 2x plus 2y equal to 7 and equation number two is x square minus 4y square is equal to 8 so first what we are going to do is rearrange the equation number 1 like this 2x plus 2y equal to 7 x is equal to 7 minus 2y over 2 then what I am going to do is put that into equation number 2 what I have done is taken the, uh, taken the rearranged equation that I got for x 
and then plug that into equation number 2 so now it becomes 7 minus 2y over 2 squared minus 4y squared is equal to 8 now what we are going to do is open the brackets and this is the equation we are going to get 0 is equal to 12y squared plus 28y minus 17 now what you are going to do is use the calculator method I showed you before y is, and you will get the answers y is equal to 1 over 2 and minus 17 over 6 now just input this value into the rearranged equation number 1 we got and now you are going to get the x values x equal to 3 and x equal to 19 over 3 now let's move on to finding the max and minimum value of a function so there is a general rule that we are going to discuss firstly if a the coefficient of x square is greater than 0 then curve has a minimum point so now let me give you an example using the graph of y is equal to x square let me get my pen as you can see here the minimum point is over here when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 so now let me give you the other general rule if the coefficient of x square is less than 0 then the curve has a maximum point now let's use the graph of y is equal to minus x square as you can see over here it has a maximum point it goes it opens like this remember these two general rules now we are going to move on to finding the maximum and the minimum value of these graphs so now let's take an equation for example x square minus 3x minus 4 is equal to y you can apply completing the square method so we get x minus 3 over 2 square minus 25 over 4 and then you can inverse the sign for x so the minimum point is 3 over 2 and minus 25 over 4 in case you forgot completing the square method I'm going to show you over here again x square minus 3x minus 4 is equal to y what you do is take the coefficient of b minus 3 and divide by 2 so x square minus 3 over 2 square remember once with plus and once with minus minus 3 over 2 squared minus 4 so now what you do is move these two in together x minus 3 over 2 squared and then as you know the brackets are going to open and minus 3 into minus 3 we get 9 9 and 2 into 2 9 over 4 and it's going to become positive but then it's going to become negative again as there is a negative outside the brackets so minus 9 over 4 minus 4 and when you put these into the calculator what this becomes is x minus 3 over 2 squared minus 25 over 4 this is what you're going to get so now as you can see here we have inversed the sign for x so we got the minimum point x equal to 3 over 2 and y equal to minus 25 over 4 now let's discuss a better method for this you can use the formula x is equal to minus b over 2a this will give you the value of x so for example let's see the coefficient of b is minus 3 so minus is equal to minus 3 over 2 times the coefficient of a is 1 so minus 3 over 2 so what we get is 3 over 2 as you can see this is the value of x minus into minus becomes positive and you get 3 over 2 when you put this into the equation that I have mentioned you will get the y value of minus 25 over 4 
All right, so now let's move on to solving quadratic inequalities.